Hey guys, what's, what's going up? on? We are that horror couple. I'm Kayla Kaylin Har and I'm Robbie Rob James. And today we're back to do a review on a new horror film on Shudder. A Shudder original, that is. Yes. Superhost. Yes, yeah, Superhost. We watched it the other night. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me tell you, I've had some shitty landlords and some shitty roommates, but this, this takes the cake. <laughs> this is the worst ever. <laughs> Superhost, with their follower account dwindling, travel vloggers Teddy and Claire pivot to create viral content around their most recent Superhost, Rebecca, who wants more from the duo than a great review. Starring Sarah Canning, Osric Chow, Gracie Gilman, and Barbara Crampton. Yes, and let me tell you right away, uh, you know, being a YouTuber myself uh, with the bad subscribe numbers, the bad view count, and just, you know, overall, I, I can relate a little bit. I definitely was drawn in by the story. Yeah, <laughs> I, did, I didn't realize when we first... Subscribe, you fuckers! <laughs> I didn't realize when we first, first turned it on that it was about, like, two... I didn't really read the plot too much. I just turned it on. I didn't realize it was about, like, two YouTubers. I thought that was really cool. So, as for likes of the film, um, I definitely really liked uh, the couple in the movie um one uh the, the woman's played by sarah canning who is aka aunt jenna from the vampire diary so i was excited to see her yes in this um barbara crampton yeah barbara crampton was awesome, awesome to see her yeah she's she gets just more and more beautiful with age is, is what it seems like to me just um and i just loved how they used like modern technology and made a horror story out of it i mm -hmm. mean just in the same way that the movie Unfriended did like a couple years back. Yeah. This film was more like modern technology, but mm -hmm. they use it like they use it to scare us with, with YouTube subscribers and like just like uh, like but what everybody's doing nowadays, they, they turn that into a horror story. Yeah. Which I thought was really creative, really cool. Yeah, I agree. I love that they basically push the envelope like how far would you go for like, you know, more subscribers and more followers, basically. Would we go that far? And stay at a crazy person's like house? No. <laughs> and also, the girl that plays uh, Rebecca in this movie is actually April from the Vampire Diaries. So that was really cool to see her too. Who was that crazy girl? Rebecca. Her name yeah. was Rebecca. Rebecca was very scary. Mm -hmm. Kept scaring me. I'm like right away. I'm like something's up with this girl. She was odd. She's like, <laughs> like she kept smiling and like she was hyper and wacky and weird. Yeah. But great actress because she was scaring me and she she nailed that character so well. She did a very good job. She would just pop up at the weirdest time. She was like hanging out in the kitchen at weird times and stuff was moved in the house mm -hmm. and then she was in the road half the time waving at them i'm like oh god this, this girl's scaring me yeah no it was so awesome she was so awesome as like a villain i loved uh, we kind of guessed like from the beginning that she was going to be like the psycho the killer but i just thought that that build up like that slow burn like the the creepy things like happening around like the vacation home they were staying in i thought that that was really well done and the reveal of her being like the killer was was well done yeah, it was, and, and we kind of got a backstory of how she got there in the first place, mm -hmm. and we got, like, that whole origin story. Mm -hmm. so. That was really interesting, too. It was cool. It was very gory, and uh, I, I did like um, all the point-of-view kills from, at one point, they took the camera, and they were, she was chasing them around the woods. I thought that was really, like, like, like very scary, mm -hmm. like, not... Not quite Blair Witch found footage style, but almost. But it was yeah. like slasher meets Blair Witch style. Like uh, like she was chasing them and stabbing them. And yeah, I, the gore in this movie is very good too. Um, yeah, I I just liked it. And then 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 there's a twist at the end where Barbara Crampton comes back and she's kind of in cahoots with the crazy girl. But then she winds up not. She, you shouldn't trust the crazy girl. Cause... Yeah, she turn she turns it on her and like kills her. So yes. the, that part was crazy because you're kind of like, what's going on? Like, wait, what? And then like it happens so fast. As far as dislikes for the film, um, maybe definitely the fact that it was a little slow, like building up to the to the grand like uh, you know climactic scene where we find out she's the killer and, and all that. One thing that bothered me was like the main guy character. He sees his fiance's throat getting slit, and he like runs away from this chick. I, like, like I was like, dude, it's a chick. Why don't you just beat the hell out of her, dude? Yeah. Like, like seriously, like, like just. What did he run away? He, yeah. He's like in the woods, like, oh, don't hurt me. Yeah. I was like, dude, beat her ass. Yeah. Like, you're a dude. Like, yeah, I didn't get that either. He could have just jumped her. I don't know, unless she was like a Miss Voorhees Friday the 13th type, where you gotta, sort of, you gotta yeah. be scared. I don't know. Yeah. Like, she was an old lady in that movie, and she took out the whole camp. Yeah. 
Yeah, maybe this guy knew what he was doing. I don't know. But yeah. I was like, dude, I was like, why are you running? It's a girl. Yeah. I mean, but, uh, yeah, no. It was it was a crazy girl, though. Yeah. Also, is this just like for me that there were like no survivors at the end? Yeah, I was going to say that, too. I didn't like how, like, I mean, obviously we had to have some kind of body count. So it was only like, you know, basically the three characters we met or the three characters that are killed. But, you know, um, I didn't, it kind of made me sad that the couple like died. Yeah, and then how did it end? She was just wanted she went back in the house. Yeah, she wound up back in the house, like yeah. you know, with the blood on her face, like he, like. <laughs> oh, there could be a sequel now. Yeah. Well, the story continues. That would be really cool, actually. I'd check that out. Yeah. <laughs> As her final thoughts to the film, um, for all the reasons previously mentioned, uh, I'd have to give it a six point five out of ten. I thought it was very enjoyable. It was different, yeah, it was good. and it brought something new. I would agree with the six point five out of ten. Mm -hmm. it, it was very good, above average, and. Uh, it's definitely an awesome, like, original Shutter film. Yeah. So, if, if you have Shutter, check this out. It's, it's really cool. Yeah, for sure. Um, and if you guys have uh, seen uh, Superhost, please comment down below. Let us know your thoughts on the film. Like this video. Hit the bell. Subscribe to our channel mm -hmm. for more awesome horror content and reviews. Once again, I'm Kayla Kaylin Har, and... I'm Robbie Rob James. And we'll see you guys next time. Subscribe. So we don't wind up like them super hosting. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I had some shitty landlords and some shitty roommates, but this, this takes the cake. <laughs> this is the worst ever. That's next time. Subscribe so we don't wind up like them, super hosting. Damn.